Greetings brothers and sisters. My name is Linda and my channel is called Simple Help Now. I want to share a word of encouragement for those who are waiting for the blessed hope, the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ to gather his bride, his believers in the rapture. I know many of you are getting weary, but the clock is ticking and the rapture is imminent. I want to share a word and a short dream I had about this event. Before I do, I want to say that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. He came in the flesh, he died on a cross, and rose again after three days for your salvation and for mine. So a couple of days ago, I had a dream in which I was in Hawaii. Hawaii has a special place in my heart as I lived and worked there for many years. I'm not there now, but it has a very warm and happy memory for me when I think about the islands. In the dream, I was setting out some new clothes for my daughter who also loves Hawaii. They were tropical prints and very pretty. I had folded up and made her bed and she was surprised that her bed was being made. It was breezy outside and with a warm and delightful atmosphere and I could see the blue ocean outside the window and it was so beautiful. When I woke up, I had a warm feeling of being home and it was all over me. In fact, it stayed with me for a couple of hours. It was just a loving atmosphere. I think that it had something to do with the rapture and I'll explain. When you have a heartfelt, warm home experience and acceptance and a sense that God has you in a place that's very loving and warm, that's something really special. I didn't think a whole lot about the dream until I told my daughter about it. She said, I hope heaven is a little bit like Hawaii. <laughs> we agreed with big smiles on our faces. I think it was the closest I have felt to being in a place called home for some time. Do you have a memory of somewhere so wonderful it brings you great joy? I felt the Lord spoke to me about what we are going to have when we are raptured into his home Please feel free to test all the words. And here's what I felt he said. My children, I am calling you up to your true home. Some of you have never experienced a true feeling of home, but you will experience a sense of belonging immediately. Your sense of security will be complete. Your joy will be boundless. Some of you have places in your hearts that feel like home, but this will be so much more. I know each of you intimately, and each one of you will find great joy and boundless love in your new home. My children, encourage the weak as they will soon be strong. Encourage the weary as they will soon find rest. Encourage the sick as they will be made well. My home will be your home where deepest desires will be fulfilled. The Father has prepared all of this for you, my people. Rejoice, you're almost home, dearly beloved. Tell my people I love them. And that's what I felt he said. How wonderful to know our home is already prepared and will soon be there. I went to read John 14, 1 through 7, as he instructed. Here's the scripture. Let not your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go and prepare, prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. And Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you're going. How can we know the way? And Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. And from now on, you do know him and have seen him. So as we wait for the rapture, remember you are going home, not to a strange place, but to a place that feels wonderful and like your warmest memory of being home. Be encouraged, you are almost there. 
Thank you for listening. See you in the clouds. This is Linda from Simple Help Now.